So Butch and I just arrived at the sand blasters. We are picking up the CUDA, all down to bare metal to get all the nooks and crannies. We're gonna get it all loaded up, get it back to the shop. You guys can look it over and start the metal work. So back from the sand blaster. Why do we have to wear gloves? Back from the sand blaster. We have to wear gloves because it is all raw open metal. You touch it now, even if your hand's clean, the oils, anything from your hand are gonna get into the pores of the metal and eventually it's just gonna rust back out. So right now it is no go without gloves on. It's got a little bit of cleanup to do to it, and then we're gonna get it epoxied and sealed up, and we'll be good to go. Did I get the right camera? Wrong camera. Damn it. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. Got the body back from the sandblaster. We got it all blowed off, cleaned up. Got it in the booth. We're gonna go ahead and put a round of epoxy on it to seal it up. That way we don't gotta worry about any rust creeping in in the future while we're doing body work and our metal work. We have rain coming in, so. I ain't giving you drama, Tim. We don't need the drama. drama. It's gonna rain, Tim. You don't need drama. It's rain. It's gonna rust. It's gonna put holes in the body. <laughs> gonna put holes in the body. You look it's gonna it. match all the other holes. So you'll notice as I spray the epoxy on the car, there's gonna be some parts of it that I don't epoxy. That's because I know those parts are getting cut off and replaced as we're doing our metal work. So I'm not gonna waste the material on spraying them when I know they're just gonna get thrown in the trash in the end.
Now that we got the body epoxied, we're gonna take it over to one of the mechanic stalls. We're gonna use a two-post lift, pick the body up off of the cart, and lower it back down on the chassis, and bring it back in the body shop and start figuring out, getting everything squared up, and weld them together. Tired of this fucking paparazzi fucking being around. You feel like Princess Diana, don't you? I feel like something. Hello, how are you? Uh -huh. Hey. So what's, what's the game plan? Same as it always is, Tim. Same as Same it as always it was. Same as it ever was. I already just, I just told you what we were doing. Why do you need to know again? Take two. Oh my god. No, I just no no. We're just... gonna pick the body up off of the cart. We gotta cut it loose from the cart. We're gonna lower the body onto the chassis. Use Marty's fancy little alignment points that he put on it. And we're gonna push it back over to the body shop and then figure out welding it together. Marty, well you can see over there the arm of the cart's coming up. Marty welded it to the cart. Those welds, we'll have to cut them with the cutoff wheel. And then his back supports back here. We'll have to cut them ones from the cart. Okay. You know, bring along here. What? Bring along here. There. Don't cut these. We'll probably hang line brackets off because those line up to the frame. Yeah, leave those go anyway. You think we can pick it up in here, Marty? Yeah, it's about the only place you can pick it up because the, it's so uh, close. Because you can't get the enough to hold the rod for the way they got it. Right? So I'll have to be picked up and healed. Yeah, just put your lift up and then put your arms in here. Yeah, okay. I'll show you how to work the lift. We'll bring the lift up, get the arms, one up here as far as you can, one to the back open as far as you can. Pick it up a little, just a little bit off, cut everything loose, and then you'll be able to raise the body up. Anthony. Well, here it is. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com.
www.thepowerhouse.com. See you next time.